I'm telling you, I'm on fire. I, I, I'm in between two college presidents. I don't know. You know, like, I, I went to college, and for the last 37 years, I've been trying to forget everything I learned. <laughs> I, I've done pretty good, <laughs> and, and I've learned it here. <laughs> it, it's so hard to have CE going on at the same time as talk, speakers that are going to hopefully, uh, well, I'm hoping you get less, not more, from my talk. Let me put it that way. Most speakers, you want to get more. You're there to get more. You're there to take notes, and you're there to learn something. I come from the philosophy that you already know too much yet. And, uh, <laughs> We need, we need to wean it out a little bit. We need, we need to hone it down. So I'm going to, I only got a few minutes, but I'm going to change gears a little bit because I'm not going to talk about education. I'm going to talk about innate. Got any innate fans here? Woo so um, I, I remember when my son was younger, he used to watch movies all the time in the living room. We had these surround sound things, these Bose speakers. And people would be dying, and I, you know, the whole house would shake when, you know, like these sci-fi things and everything. And one day I walked by and I said, "Can you turn that down? It, 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 it violates my innate." <laughs> you know, and um, I think that this last year has totally violated my innate. <laughs> I've never had a time. You can talk to. Kevin about this, where I just wanted patients to just lay down. <laughs> Don't talk, you know, <laughs> because they didn't make much sense. A lot of stuff didn't make sense. And, and quite frankly, my life hasn't made sense. Um, back in 2017, as most of you know, I went through a horrendous divorce. And then I had uh, opened uh, another office in Atlanta. And then I went through the worst associate breakup since I, 19, in 28 years, I, I had a breakup like this. And so I was, I, I, I'm sharing myself because this is where I come to testify. I'm testifying. So now I had two offices. My life is a shambles. And so what I decided to do was I was going to work through it. So I, the associate left, and I started working over six days a week. That's closer to seven. All the time. <laughs> and... Um, I did that for about a year, and I was starting to get tired. <laughs> I'm having the big birthday in uh, July. I'm going to be 60. Woo! Yes. Yeah. And um, I, I'm practicing since I'm 22 years old. So that's a bunch of years. So anyway, I, um, my, um, my favorite uncle passed away, my last uncle in New York, and I'm getting ready to go to LaGuardia to go to the funeral, and I'm getting ready. I got my suitcase, and I fall. I take this crazy fall in my own bedroom on, you know, you have the wood floors, but then they have the area rug, you know, the rugs. And I, like, ricochet across the room, not, you know, from, from an area rug. And, and, I, it, and I had twins naturally. I never experienced pain like this. So I laid down for a few days, and then I, I went back to work. And it was extremely painful. And um, innate was trying to slow me down. But I really my, I think my big mistake was I, I decided after a few weeks of still having this pain that maybe I'll take an x-ray of myself. So I did. And my L1 was missing. I mean, I had the worst compression fracture. You know when you show patients their x-rays and once in a while there's something drastic and, they, and, and like they get it and they start crying? I'm like doing my own x-ray report, you know? <laughs> and... Um, Anyway, I broke my back. I, I mean, I never have back trouble. I'm a, I've been getting adjusted since I'm in the fifth grade. But I broke my back. And um, so after about three months, I started feeling better. And then COVID hit. So the reason I bring this up is because I have talked to a half a dozen people this weekend that have had a, a worse couple of years than I did. So I know that there's people in here that are hurting. I mean, we're all rah, 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 you know, like, and, and you know, high five. And I, I, I must have hugged everybody here. And if I haven't, please make it your business to give me a hug. And it just feels so good. But here's what I, you know, here, here's my message. Where do you go when life sucks? And our philosophy teaches us that innate is not only expressed when we put our hands on somebody's atlas and release the power that made their body to heal their body, 
But in eight, that inner wisdom is where I needed to turn above, down, inside out to find the strength to put my socks on the next day and my shoes on the next day and to keep on going forward. And people are like, how did you do that? And I, I just didn't. I, I, I just did it. Like, what's the alternative? What's the alternative? And where do you find the strength? Well, if you're waiting for the world to tell you you're good or you're waiting for your numbers or your bank account or somebody else to tell you you're doing a good job, you got a lot of waiting to do. We need to dig inside of ourselves and find that inner light, that inner fire, the one that you graduated chiropractic school hopefully with, that inner fire and, and, and breathe in that inner fire and pull out that strength and get what you need. Get what you need so that you can, because you can't give what you don't have. After adjusting six days a week for a year or so, I, got, I had nothing left. I had nothing left. Now, that you could say that it was this one's fault or that one's fault. No, it was my fault because I need to take responsibility for my health because I can't teach other people to take responsibility for their health if I'm not taking responsibility for my health. And you know, every time I came to a New Beginnings, which was since 30 years ago, or went to a focus or went to all the other places I went, it was like putting money in the bank. It was putting money in the bank, and, and in my darkest moment, in the darkest days, which were recent, in, 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 in recent memory, I was able to pull it up and pull it out and get on the phone with Jim Dubells and get on the phone with you guys that, that actually pulled me out of it and, and get in touch with my God and, and use that strength to walk through it. And I'm stronger than I've ever been before. And I only bring this up because I need, I need to get it up and out, but I bring it up because I know some of you are in as, as much pain as I've been. And I want you to know in this moment and in any moment, you're not alone. We have a gift. We, and that gift never goes away. You know, you say, you know, I, I mean, having my kids was the best day of my life, and my grandsons, I have three grandsons. The oldest one is three. I have identical grandsons. I can't tell them apart. So, <laughs> neither can their mother. It's great. <laughs> that makes me feel better. But you know when you're playing with a baby and you try to say their name, and then you're like, well, I love them both. I know it. I don't know your name, but I love you. It's like me with my patients over the years. I didn't know their names, but I know. I know I love them. And I don't know all of your names, and I know I love you too. And when I look at those little boys, I just love, I wish they had some hair. They look like ball, blue eyed ball, chew balls. But, <laughs> but, I, but I love them, and I love you. And, and, and that doesn't change, but what doesn't change also is that I have a reason to be. I have a reason to be. I have a song to sing. I have a story to tell. No, chiropractic isn't going to solve all your life's problems. But it, I'll tell you what, it's a lot easier to make it through life if you're subluxation free. And that is my message in the morning, in the afternoon, at night. Wake me up in the middle of the night. And I'll tell you that I have a vision where people get adjusted by the family, by the car load, by the truck load, like they do in Kevin's office, because it's the thing to do. You know, I grew up uh, under Howard Cantor Chiropractic, and many of you know him. And I thought that the criteria, you know, they taught us criteria in chiropractic college of to adjust and not to adjust. I thought the main criteria for getting adjusted is that you were smart. <laughs> And that people weren't as smart <laughs> didn't get adjusted. Because the expression of life when you get adjusted is different than the expression of life. And several of you had reminded me of some of my previous talks. And so I, I, need, to t I need to mention the expression of what I do. 
The product that I sell, we're all selling something, right? The product, what I sell, what I, what I, you know, what person walks in my office with that ache or pain or, but what am I selling? Aliveness. Aliveness. That's the word, aliveness. And how can I take them from, Doc, you know, it flew in. <laughs> and patient used to say, it flew in. I used to think, what airline? You know, because she wouldn't only get adjusted. I knew when she walked in the door, it had to have flown in. And, I, and many times I considered throwing her out of my practice because I didn't take care of fl flies. You know, <laughs> it always had a fly, fly but uh, Beulah Burley was her name. But you know what? I, I used to throw patients out of the office. But you know what I found? That when you throw out a patient, they never come back. <laughs> so what did I have to do to the lady who had flew in? I had to love her. And what do you do with these people that are hurting because, because they're afraid that they don't have an, they've been taught they don't have an immune system? I had a, a person come in the, uh, right before I came here, and um, I, I never wear a mask in the office, but if somebody's wearing a mask, I offer to wear a mask. And I only have a few people that take me up on it, thank God, but out of respect. So the, the woman came in and she didn't have a mask and she said, I was immunized. And I said, well, do you want me to wear a mask? She goes, weren't you immunized? I said, no. She goes, well, if I was immunized, then I can't get it from you. And I'm just, you know, like, I just like, don't talk. Sometimes you just don't talk when people are talking. You just, you're like, you, I felt like going, lay down. But it, <laughs> Then she goes, well, wait, what about The Variant? And I was thinking that would be a great name for one of those movies my son watched, The Variant. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine living in so much fear? I wouldn't trade places with them. I wouldn't trade places with anyone. How about that, even for the last few years? If, you know, I've heard it say you put all your problems in the middle of the room, and then I would take mine back. If I have four phenomenal children and three grandsons that look alike, and, uh, <laughs> well, one's three, so he's, he's taller. <laughs> but he has the same face. <laughs> I got two kids that are about to start in a chiropractic program at Life West. I have my daughter who runs my office and is in my, my partner. You know, people say to you, do you still practice? I'm like, well, it's me and my daughter, and she's not a chiropractor, so. <laughs> I got her doing everything except adjusting. And I'm in love with my daughter, and I'm in love with my patients, and I'm in love with you. And what I got to tell you is don't watch the news too much because <laughs> there ain't a lot of love. Make sure you surround yourself with people that will love you and that are in love, not in fear. Because that's, that's the battle. That's the battle we always hear, have. Are you going to stay in love or are you going to fall into fear? And, it, and it, it, sometimes it happens 10 times a day. And then one last comment I want to make is about expectation. And that we think that if we have goals and we reach our goals and we do all our right, all the right things we're supposed to do, any other good girls and good boys, you know, like that life is going to turn out peachy. <laughs> that it's, you know, like A and B will equal C. Like there, there's a formula, and if you just keep doing the right thing, that you know, uh, karma will take care of you or whatever. Well, you know, they say karma's a bitch. Karma is a bitch. I don't, you know, like, it doesn't, know, it, it, you, you're not writing the script. You're, you're going along for the ride. You're there to learn the lessons. And, and if, you, if you start feeling ripped off, you start feeling sorry for yourself, you, get, you know what you get? You get to feel ripped off and feel sorry for yourself. And that's what you get. And, and that sucks. Who wants to live in that negative cycle? you got to pull yourself up. And, and be the good girl and good boy and, and, and serve with everything you got because the, the, the passion and the love and the life is in giving it away. And you can't do it when your thumb is stuck in your mouth. So go out there and change the world.
I love you all. Sharon Gorman!